Hi, I'm Steven from Just Got Played, and today we're going to be unboxing High Rise, a game of construction and corruption for one to four players from Gil Hova and his formal ferret games. Now, I just received this as part of a Kickstarter, and it came with some extras. Uh, I have some wooden player bases as add-ons. Uh, there were some of these wooden floor uh, pieces and plastic, ultra plastic pieces. Uh, and as well, it came with this mini expansion. Um, but all of that came packaged outside of the box, so I believe what I have here is what you would find in retail. Uh, if you look at it, it's actually a pretty thick box, uh, pretty heavy too. Uh, you can see that's what the board looks like with the standees, one to four players aged 14 plus. Uh, you can see it says 90 to 120 minutes, but it also says 150 to 180 minutes. There's a couple of different game modes in the box, so decide, depending on which one you decide to play, uh, it's going to be a longer or shorter game. All right, so let's cut this open. Let's see what we have inside. All right, so there's the inside of the box. All right, so there are plastic standees. Uh, these are for you to slot the buildings in. Uh, let's take a look at one of the player colors. Let's just go ahead and take a look at some of the uh, kind of bluish ones here. Uh, they're pretty pretty wide bases there. Uh, nice quality, plastic standees, which you would expect. As I mentioned before, I have the wooden ones to replace that with. Uh, here's a, a bag that you put the uh, materials in uh, when you're drawing uh, out of, so you can't see what you're getting. Uh, we've got a bunch of plus pieces. Maybe these are spires for the top of the building. These are cardboard. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, these are uh, nice thick pieces to uh, kind of, I bet these go on the top of the building standees. All right, what do we have here? Looks like we have the construction yards, maybe. So there are some extra construction yards that you can get in the game by taking some corruption, and I think that's what that is. Uh, we have the blueprints, which uh, decide which buildings you're trying to build. Uh, these are the construction yards for the different companies that you can play in the game. Oh, look at that. Must be a Kickstarter thing. All right, there you go. So there are four different companies that you can play during the game. Uh, some extra bags. That's nice. Uh, we have some extra cards. We have some cards here. Uh, I don't know if these are the probably the power cards, get those unwrapped. We can take a look at these. It's a lot of cards. Um, as you can see, uh, pretty good material. Uh, they're labeled for the different uh, areas on the board. Interesting, all right. Uh, I've got some uh, player markers. These are wooden, kind of what you would expect there. Uh, it's a nice manual, a little glossy, a lot of uh, detail in here. A little reference to what some of the things do in the back. Uh, we've got example setup. Uh, overview talks about the game mode. So I mentioned there are the different, there's an introductory standard and a full game, and then there's the components. So good quality manual there. This is the corruption and victory point board. That's fairly sturdy. Double sided. Have a lot of different pieces uh, to punch out. So these are the floors. Uh, so I had showed you the wooden pieces earlier, but these are the floors uh, that would come in the regular game. And this is the ultra plastic material as well, which is kind of like a wild, but a little bit different in the game. Uh, and these are the tenant tiles. These go on the board. These are fairly thick, so this is good quality. Um, one says it's downtown. Yep. All right, so we have some more tiles, same kind of quality there, and some more. A lot of 
different tiles in the game. A lot of things to punch out. I like punching things out, so that's fun. Some blank ones. I wonder what fun things I could do with that. Oh, okay, and here we go. Here are some of the buildings. So when you build a building, um, you count the number of floors that that building has, and then you put this in one of those standees, and you stick it on the board. Um, so it stands up really tall, has a nice table presence. So that's nice. And these, again, are as thick like those other tiles. Uh, and every one of them has a name, Tower of the Visible Hand, Black Sun Club, uh, etc. So that's interesting. It's a nice little touch. Got a lot of different buildings available here with the different number of floors. And then there's the board. All right, let's take a look at the board here. Uh, so there are different sides of the board. This one says four players. So this would be the four player side of the board. It's a nice thick board, folds out way out like that, uh, which is interesting as you travel around the board, that's the game. Um, and then this side is uh, for one to three players, right? So one to four player game. Um, so again, nice quality board, seems to fold okay. I don't, it doesn't feel like it's taking any kind of wear as I do that. So I think it'll be fairly durable, even though it's kind of got an interesting fold to it. Um, so there you have it, High Rise from Formal Ferret Games.